following show is a paid program. family how you doing today we have got the best of the best in atlanta with us we've got tiana and clay from molding the clay they're ceos of podcasts and also miss barbara tatum creator and executive producer of women in the life atlanta atl how you doing today? And Miss Barbara, chime right in. We see good. you. Doing good. Doing good. <laughs> <man>. doing good. <laughs> I'm so glad you all were able to come and be here in the studio. You guys just flew in, just got here. Absolutely. So excited. And Miss Barbara tuning in. And just the whole aspect of this whole venture of the LGBTQIA community. Just how pivotal that is. Just trailblazing the way for the yeah. both of you all. Let's start off, Miss Barbara. We're not going to leave you out. We're going to shout out to you. Give us five minutes. We're going <laughs> to hit up Tiana and Clay. Thank you for inviting us. Oh, it's absolutely. such a pleasure. Thank you so it's much. It's definitely great to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start off talking about how you actually came. First of all, Molding the Clay, your podcast. That's where I first started seeing you. <laughs> Shout out to Royalty, my creative director. She said her best friend here. Absolutely. She says, you got to get them on the show. I said, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So definitely yeah. shout out to Royalty. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Um, and then a big shout out to uh, Black Ink Radio mm -hmm. and Rich Mo. Mm -hmm. um, we have a relationship podcast um, that we air every Friday evening. Um, in which we just talk about different relationship issues. Mm -hmm. uh, we bring special guests on our podcast as mm -hmm. well to try to get their insights. Um, and we just try to just spread the love because we understand that everybody um, has, has a relationship, relationship whether it's issue. a friendship, mm -hmm. whether it's a family member, every day you encounter a relationship with somebody. So that's mm -hmm. how our podcast came about. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Miss Barbara, jump right in. Women in the Life, how did that yeah. come about? That's a reality show that's getting ready to start off coming very soon. LGBTQIA community, ATL. Well, Cam, thank you for uh, inviting me to the show. Uh, just to give you a little bit background of uh, Women in Life uh, reality show, it started back in 1999 uh, when I did a calendar uh, trying to pr pr promote us, to, to show us as well, you know, that we are also uh, women, but we also live a different uh, type of lifestyle. But we, we, we wanted to, to bring the light to the life, and I started that with a, a calendar and then uh, 22 years later, it became uh, into fruition as we speak. So. Wow, I love that. As the creator and the executive producer of this, why this reality show and why now? Well, I, I think it's very uh, pivotal for the, the community right now because uh, people always um, portray us as something different. And I wanted to, to uh, show life concept about us I wanted to, to bring the life and what it means to be in the life. And the life isn't limited to just one preference. It's, it means positivity. It means understanding and love and success. And uh, we are women in the life. That's what it, uh, it means. And that's why uh, I think it was, it's pivotal to bring it to, uh, to the forefront right now. I'm glad you said that. I want to talk to Tiana and Clay, a married couple, and you all have a beautiful family together. And Thank you. As far as just mm -hmm. the world to see and just the openness of you all. You all are trailblazers, including Miss Barbara, the same thing, trailblazers and champions mm -hmm. uh, for the community. Let's talk a little bit about, uh, and we were talking about parents, mm -hmm. right? Right. Mm -hmm. And with your parents. How did your parents take that? Starting with you, Clay, just a little bit, the parents. Uh, so my coming out story was a little rough. Mm -hmm. uh, so I come from a very religious background right. on my mother's side and my father's side as well. Um, so I'll never forget the day. My, one of my older brothers, um, I was in high school, and he knew I was on the phone with a young lady all of the time. It was my high school sweetheart. 
Right. And one day he just sat me on the bed. He just said, little sis, he said, I'm going to ask you a question. He said, but I know, I want you to know that you can be 100% honest with me. I'm not going to judge you. I'm going to support you 100%. If anybody has anything to say, I'm going to always defend you. He asked me, he said, is she your girlfriend? Are you dating her? And I just looked at him and smiled and I said, yep, I am. Um, and so from that point, he gave me a hug because I, I guess so many people are scared to walk in their truth. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so at that point, I, I had to come out to my mom. Um, and when I came out to my mom, it was a little rough at first. Um, she actually told me I need to, I probably need to go see a psychiatrist. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> right. But the right. fact that I stayed in my truth, I didn't change for anyone. And mm -hmm. I think when my family saw that and saw that, hey, this is who Clay really is. Right. You know, they began to accept it. Now my family loves my wife, loves right. my children, mm -hmm. um, proud of the person that I am today. So I, I just say walk in your truth and right. own it. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. right. Yeah. Let's go with you, Miss Tiana. How did that work with family? Um, I, I think for me, it, it was very easy for me. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't come out to my family. My kids actually told <laughs> 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 My kids told on me. Mm -hmm. um, my oldest two daughters, they might have been maybe about four or five. Right. Um, and they told my mom that I had a girlfriend. <laughs> and my mom called me and said, Tiana, do you have a girlfriend? Uh -huh. I said, yes, ma'am. And she said, okay, well, it's probably just a phase, but okay. Uh -huh. um, but... From that moment, I mean, I never had really backlash from my family like that. They've, uh -huh. you know, they've been supportive. Right. Um, for the most part. And, I mean, it just went on from there. I mean, I just, I didn't really have issues with my family like that. It, my whole family is kind of in the life for okay. the most part. Yeah. My okay. mom had a gay best friend. My uncle was gay. Uh -huh. um, and so it was just kind of well known in my family. Okay. okay. Um, so for me, it was it was a lot easier for me. Okay. Yeah. And Barbara, we're going to call you B. B, what about That's you? That's correct. Uh, well, it's it's almost similar to, uh, to Clay's because uh, I come from a strong religion background right. family. But um, my my mom already knew, my grandmother already knew. But when what's my daddy found out uh he wanted to commit me <laughs> <You know? laughs> right right you know but but it, it was I, I kept continuing to live my truth regardless yeah. you know i wanted to be free you mm -hmm. know be me you know mm -hmm. be authentic me and mm -hmm. so my family loved me uh they love my wife uh my wife passed two years ago we was together for 20 years and um uh my mother loved her dearly and my grandmother she said hey this is my granddaughter what she wants to do, whatever her life wants to be, we gonna love her and right. uh, prove them who you know I became successful. That's what they look at. They look at us like we not you know nothing, like right. we don't have anything going on, you know. But um, I, I proved them wrong. Clay proved them wrong. Um, you know, just to love, you know, right. uh, that my family chose and my friends, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. But, um, and B, I want you to expound on that part a little bit. When someone is not living it at this point. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When they're having a hard time with family, you know, they already know they have a religious family or so. What would we say to them at this point? Uh, well, I, I would say, you know, you know, some of us, we don't look at this, but it's not that we are crazy or anything. I think that we should uh, visit counseling. It's a lot of counseling service there, you know, for, uh, for us to go to attend to. And uh, be be uh, be able to, to uh, talk about your problem because we got a lot of youth that are committing suicide. Right, because yeah. that's what we're talking about. So mm -hmm. therefore, if anybody listening that's youth, don't be afraid. Uh, just go out and live your truth and seek uh, counseling. You know, to get you through that. If it's somebody like I have a niece, and uh, she came out to me and she said, Auntie, you know, I want you to help me to live this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm, I'm guiding her and the direction she needs to take, what path and what mistakes that I made not to make, you know. So mm -hmm. uh, get someone that you trust. If it's not a counselor, somebody you trust. Uh, th there are plenty of groups out there uh, that will help you, that, that uh, will touch, reach out to the young young folks need to reach out to, to uh, the resource because it's, it's out there now. Because back then, we didn't have that. Right. You know? You know, we was yeah. in clothes. We was in the closet with the clothes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? so, right? 
<laughs> right, right. Let's talk. Uh, Clay, you mentioned something. Let's talk about that, about the same thing that B was talking about. What do you think? Because it took you some time with your family. Mm. I think uh, for me, um, because at that time, I had people around me that were older than me that were in the life. Uh-huh. Um, that I can kind of go to for support. Right. Um, so that played a major, major part um, in me having that support system. And then uh, my wife, of course, um, back when she came out, there were, and still is today, there are um, LGBTQIA houses um, that provide the support for people who have families that disown them. Wow. Um, they'll take them in. You'll have a house mother, sometimes a house father. Really? Um, yeah. House brothers and sisters. And you're a family. And that's who you lean on. And you take care of each other and lift each other up. Yeah. Um, I think that that's very, very important um, in our community. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that because a lot of people end up homeless. Yeah. I was a house mother. Mm-hmm. And I may have took in about 15 mm -hmm. young adults right. in my home. I had a three-bedroom apartment. Wow. And I took in about 15 teenagers in my home. Wow. And I care for them. I love them. I still love them today. Right. Um, I've helped, I helped them get through school. I helped them get jobs. Um, and I treated them like they were my babies mm -hmm. because they were. Right. And to see someone family disown you just because of who you choose to love mm -hmm. I just could not see them out there in the street like that and these are teenagers a lot of yes. times yes. that they're letting that they're letting go the youngest mm -hmm. some young teenagers yes. right 14 like the 15? youngest one I the, the youngest one I took in was 16 16 years old mm -hmm. and to go out in the world mm -hmm. not knowing the world but not to know your family mm -hmm. you would end up homeless yeah and they still call her mama to this day. Right. I, I hear we go out and I hear people, somebody say, mama, mama. And I'm looking around like, who right. are they talking to? Right. And, and they talking to yeah. Yeah. Yes. Wow. My babies, and they're super grown now. I think yeah. the youngest one now is 26. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And for you to just take them in like that, house them? I still will today. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's It's... It's heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. Because even though I didn't get put out of my home because of my lifestyle, I would never see or it would never sit right with me to see a child out there hoping and wishing for somebody to love them, mm -hmm. their parents to love them, and for you to disown them. Right. It's not fair. Right. They didn't ask to be in this world. Mm -hmm. They didn't ask to even be gay. Yeah. They didn't ask for that. Right. So I felt like it was it was my purpose to be there for them, mm -hmm. regardless of what it is that they needed. Wow. So, B, I'm listening to this right now, and I, I hear exactly what's happening. More of these need to be set up, it seems. Oh, yeah, most definitely. And uh, um, I, th I think it's been around a, a, a for a minute because mm -hmm. when I came out, they had, you know, houses for, um, you know, for the for the, uh, the youth that's a homeless that their parents, you know, kicked them out. And uh, shout out to Pose. The Pose did a great job yeah, explaining yeah, house yeah. mother. So, wow. so that uh, they they it's much needed and it's still needed, you know. So um, we're gonna look into that, you know, women in life. We, we mm -hmm. probably have a, a house called Women in Life. You know, everyone is <laughs> welcome. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's good. That's as a re be as a reality show. Why so reality and not versus a movie or a series or something else? Why the show in itself, the creative part? We want to show the authentic. You know, we want to show the the real, the truth of right. uh, of, of the life. You know, what we go through. The same thing. You know, and uh, we want to be able to show that. Uh, and we we chose to do it in reality. You know? I like that. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose to come on board as a family? We chose to come on board as a family because a lot of times um, people want to tell you your story. Yes. They want to tell you about your community, what it is that you're doing. When they really don't know, they're uneducated. Mm -hmm. So the best person to tell our story and show the world how we live in our community is for us to show it mm -hmm. uncut. Mm -hmm. I like that. As far as your podcast is concerned, going back a little bit, how did it get started? <laughs> 
how did you decide a podcast? And really, how did you decide uh, what topics and things you wanted to put on it? Um, I, I think the way our podcast started was me, me and my wife have been together for almost 10 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've been married for three years in May. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of our friends tend to come to us for relationship advice. Right. Um, we've both been married before. Mm-hmm. We've been through this. We know the struggles of a relationship, raising kids, um, mm-hmm. and we know how to get through those things. Um, and so we decided, why not talk about it? Right. Why not share our information to the world? Not only sharing that information to everyone, but also ex- showing the world our relationship and our family and how we get through those trials and tribulations of a marriage. Mm-hmm. And and not just because we're lesbians, because we have the same issues heterosexual people have. Right. And we just wanted to broadcast that. Mm-hmm. Um, and our topics, they just come up. Sometimes <laughs> our sometimes our fans will come in our inbox and say, well, can you guys talk about that this mm-hmm. this week? Right. Um, or sometimes we're laying around and talking. We're like, ooh, I got a topic. Right. And we'll talk about that. Mm-hmm. So it's brand different ways of how we get our topics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Absolutely. so when it started... My wife had asked me to do a podcast a long time ago, and I was like, no, I don't want to be in the spotlight. Let me just be in the background. <laughs> yes. And so um, when she did her first, we actually started doing a podcast from our formal living room, living room. on really? Facebook yeah. Live. Mm-hmm. So when she did her first podcast, she asked me and my ex-wife to be a guest. Um, and so we did, we were a guest on there, had a really good show, really good How turnout. did you think about that when she said you and your ex-wife, how was that? <laughs> It was so great. Was it, it? It was a really yeah, good show. it was really good. It was a really good okay. show. Really good. Yeah, we got a lot of positive feedback, and the world was able to see how you can be adults about situations because mm-hmm. we still co-parent. Uh, we have a daughter together, so right. we still co-parent. So the fact that we can still be adults about the situation, we can still have a friendship, and mm-hmm. her and my wife can have a friendship as well. Right. Um, so after that show aired... Everyone thought it was her and I's show. And I was like, no, I'm just on here for the first <laughs> episode. It's not my show. Right. I was more behind the scenes making sure the cameras was running. Right. Mm-hmm. Uploaded. She was, um, yeah. And then she did like the next three by herself. Um, and then on Christmas, uh, one of her Christmas gifts from me, I bought her, I set her up a, a podcast studio in the garage. Uh-huh. Bought mm-hmm. her all podcast equipment. Um, and then from there, my wife did a, a little bit of networking and um, sent over to Black Ink Radio um, our podcast that we did, um, the first podcast that we did, and we had a meeting with them. Um, energy was Great. everything it with was Black wonderful. Ink Radio and Richmo. Mm-hmm. Um, and so from that point, we knew we wanted to do it um, with Black Ink Radio, and then we knew we wanted to talk about relationship um, yeah. discussions. Sounds yeah. good. We'll take a break right here. We'll be right back on The Cam Hill Show. To the Cam Hill Show after these messages. Move up at Ron Carter Cadillac. Drive the new 2021 Cadillac XT4 Luxury Collection for only $319 a month. The new 2021 Cadillac XT5 Luxury Collection for only $399 a month. Both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase either and enjoy 1.9% APR for 60 months plus bonus cash. Gold Freeway, just two minutes south of the Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop Ron Carter. Ron Carter promise is to make sure my baby is safe and healthy. Because I know it is possible to acquire syphilis, HIV, or other STDs without knowing it, getting tested is my very first chance to protect my baby. Doctors are required to give expectant mothers three separate tests for syphilis. If you're pregnant, ask your doctor if you're being tested properly for syphilis and other STDs. Congenital syphilis can lead to a miscarriage, stillbirth, or an infant death. Don't risk your baby's health. To find out more, visit MyPrenatalPromise.com. Have you heard about Hero Go TV offering free TV?
now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, thanks so much, family. I wanted to do something very special for you. Uh, DNP Productions, Diana Patterson, she wanted to make sure she was part of this. She wants to do, there's a video, let's show it. Hey, thanks so much. That's Diana Patterson, DNP Productions, my executive producer, but she's also the one sponsoring the show today. And we want to thank her for that. We want to just jump right back in here. B, jump, jump right back in here with us with Women in the Life. Right before we show some of the uh, parts of the video, let's talk a little bit about the creativity of this project real quick. I know we talked about how it started what you were thinking on, but what would you like to relate to the world uh, as you go along the way? Well, I, I like to relate to the world that Women Life is a, a reality series, uh, which we're going to highlight the lives and upscale professionals of the ladies that identify in the LGBTQ uh, plus. We know it's a lot of acronyms, but, you know, <laughs> I guess, uh, the show is designed to uh, uh, dispel the myth, the milk, of the stereotypes of the chronicle of the lifestyles that are of uh, successful women in the LGBT community. So we wanted to basically uh, just highlight, you know, um, the women that are in the life, what they're doing. You know, it's a lot of professional women uh, that's in the life and that that uh, people don't know of that they are in the life. You know, so we wanted to just basically identify that. And like Clay said earlier, we wanted to tell our story. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Let's do this right now. Let's look at some behind the scenes of Women in the Life, ATL. We coming for you. We coming for you. I felt, I felt some type of way. Let me have a moment. We made the partners in Atlanta, so we slide up in your DMs. So It's footage. It's footage. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. 
hard when yeah, it's tired. Yeah, she's a big shot, so. Well, B, I love that, love that, love that. Wanted to touch yeah. base, just ask Clay and Tiana, bullying is really a big thing in the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you, what do you tell children and young people about that, about bullying? So I can, I can speak to what we talk to our children about. Right. Because um, our children typically talk to us about everything. Um, so we make sure our, our children, that's definitely something that's unacceptable in our household right. exactly. um, mm -hmm. in any shape, form, or fashion. Um, so we talk to our children about that. We try to tell our children that everybody is different. Right. Um, you don't want to be the person at school um, that's bullying anybody. You want to be the person that's lending that helping hand. So mm -hmm. if somebody is talking about somebody and don't want to sit, sit with them at the lunch table, you want to be that leader that goes sit over at the lunch table with them. Um, and, and just and just embrace them because mm -hmm. everybody is different. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, we definitely do not tolerate bullying in our family. Mm -hmm. We teach our children to love everybody. Mm -hmm. um, we also teach them, like Clay said, that if you see it happening, um, be there for that person, be there for that child, um, because bullying leads to suicide. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's something that you don't. If you see it, tell it. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, my son had actually had an incident at school one time where um, a kid was being bullied in school and they just mistreated him. They wouldn't sit, on him at the, sit with him at the table. Um, and my son, um, you know, stood up for him. Mm -hmm. He stood up for him. He sat with him at the lunch table, told him, you know, that I'll be your friend. It's OK. Right. Don't let them get to you like that, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I was very proud of him right. for that because mm -hmm. that's what we teach him. Right. Um, so we definitely um, want to let the young people out there know that if this is happening, mm -hmm. tell somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't keep it to yourself yes. because if you keep that bottled in, again, mm -hmm. that's how that leads to suicide mm -hmm. or other things. Right. You know, so let somebody know so that we, we can help you. Absolutely. And it can be cyberbullying too. I was just about to say yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. On the internet, mm -hmm. you know, or on your phone or whatever, whatever digital device that you're using, mm -hmm. it can be that way too. That's yes. absolutely know? true. Which yeah. is sometimes worse. It yeah. is. Yeah. 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 It is. I've even seen, you know, had people to talk about the fact of being, they be bullied while they're playing the video games, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, through the PS5 or whatever it is, mm -hmm. they've been bullied through there. Yeah, that's absolutely true. And I'm glad you brought that point up because in our day when we were growing up, we didn't have social media absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, if you experienced a form of bully, it was mainly in person right? or, mm -hmm. or over the phone. Mm -hmm. um, but we didn't have social media. Now social media just takes bullying to a whole nother level. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And parents need to check their kids' phones, check yes. what they're doing on social media. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes our children are not going to always tell us right. what's going on mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. Either they're scared or embarrassed or for whatever reason. Um, but it's our job as parents to know what our children are doing what's being said to them. Mm -hmm. So we check our kids' stuff. Absolutely. I like that. I like that. B, jump oh, right okay. in here. I love the fact that you do the positive part of that. Did you want to say something about bullying also? Uh, yeah, I I, um, I do. Because um, like like uh, Clay said, we didn't have uh, stuff like that when yeah. we was going up uh, uh, social media. And uh, to be honest with you, I was never bullied uh, mm -hmm. because I didn't tolerate it, you know. And then when my daughter uh, came along and uh, I explained to her when she was like four or five, because, you know, as you're going to see people different uh, in your class. You're going to see, see somebody like me. So mm -hmm. I let her know about my lifestyle so she would know what to look for right. and uh, uh, don't bully those kids. And if they are bullying you, uh, I always tell me. She always tell me everything. Some things I don't even want to hear, but, uh, <laughs> I, I, but I have taught her to tell me, you know, right. so I can – you know, uh, uh, you know, jump uh, jump ahead on that and uh, make sure that she's taken care of. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it is right that kids will commit suicide. You know, 
Because mm-hmm. um, well, I had a cousin who did that, you know, right. committed suicide, you know, mm-hmm. just uh, she's from around just maybe about five years ago. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad you so mentioned very- that because it's reality. A lot of people don't think it's mm-hmm. real. They don't think that it yeah. could lead up to it, right. you know, because like you said, it can really happen. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It can really happen. Uh, also, B, I'm glad we're, we're staying with this part. As you're doing the reality show and you're doing the lives of real married couples or just couples or just singles, if that comes mm-hmm. about, right? Just mm-hmm. showing yes. the life of the positivity. I think we don't understand that each, everyone has really a lot of the same things. We have to pay, everybody has to pay the same bills, you know, things like that. I don't think they take it yep. serious, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And that, that's why we are, that's why, you know, wanted to um, to do the show and mm-hmm. so far as uh, let them know that we, we have the same issues that you guys have. Mm-hmm. You know, we have, we have dogs. We got to go to the grocery <laughs> store. We got to clean up, you know. Uh, right. We got to cook, you know, pay bills. Mm-hmm. So uh, I wanted to show them that we, we are, uh, are the same as you. We just, we just love different, you know. Mm-hmm. So. Absolutely. As you all, as a wife and wife, in looking at this and you go out in public, what would you like for the world to see about as far as your life is concerned? I think for us, for our life is concerned, is that, um, yeah, we're definitely unique. Everybody's yeah. unique in their own Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Uh, but we're definitely going to demand respect. Um, and we just want the world to see, like, we're we're like a normal couple. We, right. Like, like Barbara said, we go through normal things that any heterosexual couple will Absolutely. go through. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We just it just looks a little bit different mm-hmm. right, for us, mm-hmm. but we will be we will be respected at mm-hmm. the end of the day. Yeah. Right, yeah. and I think that's the demand that needs to that yes. I think that's what's been happening. Mm-hmm. I think uh, through Pride Week, we just came out of the Pride really month was it yeah. so mm-hmm. much uh, at different locations. Just coming out of that, I understood that that information was out there that is respect. Mm-hmm. That's very huge now. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. think, and especially coming out of COVID, and we're coming out in just a different more thought process of mortality. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You see the world a little different now. Mm-hmm. That reality is is that we're demanding respect. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And I think and that's, that's extremely important. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why myself and our other cast members we're so very grateful to B and to Donna, Donna for film, who's B's partner mm-hmm. um, with the reality show Women in the Life. We're so very grateful for them for opening up the door right. for yes. us to be able to share our truth with the world and right. show the world how how we live so they can be educated and not just assume. Mm-hmm. 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 Right. B, the uneducation that you see that we have, let's, let's tap into some of the things that we need to be educated on and try to understand on some things about women in the life, just the education, right? As far as, and I'll say, I'll I'll just do it this way. Men like to come up to women, even though they see, they may see, now let's just be honest, they see Clay with her wife, right? Right. And we need to understand what's the boundaries. It's it's, it's one word, respect. There you go. That's, That's who she chose to be with. And you got to respect it, you know, because uh, she's more film and, you you know, plays more masculine. You know, you just got to respect that. That's what she chose to be with. Right. It's just one word, you know, round it up to one word, respect. And they're you know, a married just couple. Like, mm-hmm. And they're a married couple. And they're married. Absolutely. You know, just like, you know, I, I don't want to go to to somebody who's heterosexual and you married, you know, to uh, just take for instance in this scenario. A woman come up to me, you know, want to talk, you know, slid in my DM. In fact, now she's married. I said, um, I don't do that. You know, right? That's that's, that's like disrespecting. You know, what if it's I was it, it was opposite. You know, it'd yeah. be disrespecting all over the, around the whole surface, disrespecting. Right. So, and I, I believe that that's what we're trying to put out today is about respect. Exactly. The community itself, the yeah. whole entire community. Yeah. yeah. Right. Absolutely. Just the yeah. It's respect. Yeah. Because you don't get you get that a lot disrespect, mm-hmm. right? They don't take yeah. it serious. Right. They think mm-hmm. it's for play. Uh-huh. Um, it's a phase. It's, it's a, a phase. phase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, and it's not. Mm-hmm. And and just because you mm-hmm. feel that way do not give you the right or the or permission to be disrespectful. Mm-hmm. 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 It just doesn't. 
Right. Yeah. And marriage. You all are married. Mm -hmm. It's right. not a life partner. You all are married. Right. Legally. Legally. <laughs> <laughs> Legally married. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And what does that mean? Oh. Yeah. It well, means a lot. It means yeah. a lot. Yeah. It means a lot because. That true commitment. We, yes. We fought for this. Yes. We fought for that moment for us to have the same rights as heterosexual couples. Right. You know, if something was to ever happen to her, God forbid, right. in the hospital, I want to be able to be that person that can be there to make those decisions for her when she can't. Mm -hmm. I don't want my family to do it. I don't want her family to do it. Right. I want to be that. I'm living this life with her. Mm -hmm. I'm raising these children with her. We're co-parents and, and paying these bills together. I have that right. Right. You know? And so for them to finally say, I have that right. Right. That was the best feeling in the world. Mm -hmm. It definitely was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and just to know that I don't have to worry about anything, like when it comes to our children, mm -hmm. uh, because biologically our children are my wife. So mm -hmm. when it comes to my children, like she said, if God forbid something ever happens, I know that I'm, I'm taking my kids with me. Right. You know, I'm taking my kids with me. And then the fact that I always smile so when she's handling business and I and I hear them say, "Okay, Miss Clay, are you ready?" I just, I just start smiling like, "Yeah, that's that's my wife." You hear that, Miss Clay? Yes, 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 yes. I'm glad you're yeah. putting that light on it of what does marriage truly mean. Yes, right. Definitely What's the legal part of marriage? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. What does it really give you the right to do? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that true definition of a partnership. Right. Absolutely. And that's what we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, a lot of people put these gender roles right? Um, because she's more masculine. They feel like she has to be the one that's more responsible, take care of it. And, and because that's how normally it is in the heterosexual world. Mm -hmm. um, but we share the responsibilities. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we don't. We don't conform to that gender role thing. Right. You know, we're still both women. Right. You know, so we all share the same responsibilities in the house. Uh -oh. If I cook. Uh -oh. <laughs> now, now, now she won't push the lawnmower, take trash out, <laughs> carry groceries in. <laughs> and she won't cook. <laughs> so won't we're, cook. Even. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. We're, we're even. We're even. We're <laughs> even. So, yeah. <laughs> I saw Clay come on. What's that? Yeah, she got Share responsibility. Wait a minute. We have to correct that. I right? love it. I love that. I love that. I them. love the fact that you all are putting a light on it, right? Yeah. We're very, yeah. being very clear about what's happening. And then just the, the, the topic of marriage. Mm -hmm. What does that truly mean to the world, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And even even in a heterosexual, heterosexual world mm -hmm. about what that means, marriage and life partners, mm -hmm. right. Right. right? What the what what the law requires right. with mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So, like yeah. you said, I'm glad you said that because of the fact that uh, if she did get sick or if you got sick, mm -hmm. one of the two, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. you have that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. And that's most important. That's so true. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's mm -hmm. so, so true. And then the so other true. thing, too, is that even as far as work is concerned, health insurance, mm -hmm. you know, 401ks mm -hmm. and just all the other things, yeah. life insurance, just things that are yeah. happening down the line, the legalities of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I heard B. B, I heard you. Uh, yeah. Uh, prayers yeah. to you about the li your, your, your partner, you know, your wife. Yeah. We had everything, everything. We was, you know, married, everything. She was on everything. When when uh, uh, she uh, passed, I had to make a decision. And her family, you know, sort of got kind of mad. And mm -hmm. the doctor said, no, um, uh, her uh, partner makes all decisions because we had a, a, a directive, you know, in the hospital. Right. Where I made all decisions, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, it was so true. You know, she was on my insurance. I was on her insurance. And I'm still on insurance. And I get her benefits, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. you know, as being married, you know, right. it was legal. You know, right. So, and I'm glad you're putting so a light on that in women in the life, just mm -hmm. letting people understand yeah. the legalities part of that, mm -hmm. that that happened, yeah. that yeah. that actually is needed. Yeah. You know, because yeah. you can be a life partner and not get the benefits mm -hmm. at the end, the end of yes. the day, mm -hmm. you know, had you all been together 20 years and not been married. Right. Yeah. And this is still, you know, like you said beforehand, you know, they didn't have that, you know. So thank God for Obama uh, for passing that, you know, so we that's can't okay. have the same yeah. benefits, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that's so true, you know. So anybody who need, who needs to need to look into that legally. Right. Because you, know, you don't want to be left out when, when the time has come and you don't have no rights. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have a friend that's going through that right now, you know, so. Wow. But. All right. Let's take a break on the Cam Hill Show. To the Cam Hill Show after these messages. Move up at Ron Carter Cadillac. Drive the new 2021 Cadillac XT4 Luxury Collection for only $319 a month. The new 2021 Cadillac XT5 Luxury Collection for only $399 a month. Both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase either and enjoy 1.9% APR for 60 months plus bonus cash. Gulf Freeway, just two minutes south of the Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop Ron Carter. Ron Carter Cadillac.com. Prenatal promise is to make sure my baby is safe and healthy. Because I know it is possible to acquire syphilis, HIV, or other STDs without knowing it, getting tested is my very first chance to protect my baby. Doctors are required to give expectant mothers three separate tests for syphilis. If you're pregnant, ask your doctor if you're being tested properly for syphilis and other STDs. Congenital syphilis can lead to a miscarriage, stillbirth, or an infant death. Don't risk your baby's health. To find out more, visit MyPrenatalPromise.com. Have you heard about Hero Go TV offering free TV? to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, thank you so much, family. We we're back with Tiana Clay and Barbara. We were just talking, we were just talking amongst ourselves, but B, I want to get uh catch you in here. Let's talk about deciding on children. Let's say we have a couple. They're just gotten married and everything, but now they're thinking about having children. They don't want a male partner part of their, you know, uh, their 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 marriage or anything. They just, but they want children. Let's mm -hmm. talk about to them about children and how to do that. What are some ways? Well, there's many ways that you can go about um, having a, a baby in the you know, a lesbian relationship. Mm -hmm. um, there's in vitro fertilization. There's right home insemination, um, just about any way that you can go about doing it at, at, at all. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, I mean, if you want to go about having a baby and you want it to be um, very reasonable, I would suggest doing home insemination first. Right. Um, it's free. You don't have to worry about paying all this extra money to go have a doctor do it. Mm. Um, and so, which is how me and Clay went about doing it. Mm -hmm. um, we tried to get pregnant for two years right. and unfortunately it did not happen for us. Right. Um, but, you know, I, I have the knowledge of it. I helped many women out there get pregnant that wow. way. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's many ways out there that you can give, you know, get pregnant yep. as a lesbian, you know. Now, B, she just she just helped a whole lot of heterosexual <laughs> single women. <laughs> look, look, B, B, she helped a lot of. They said, "Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's she saying now?" The whole. I'm writing it down. You write it down, down too. too. B said she would write it down too. I mean, you know, and it's, it's funny. It's funny because you a we lot don't of women that. don't know that don't. you can actually yeah. buy the kit on Amazon. You, Wait a minute. Oh yes. my God. Look at it. Look, she just sold Amazon. <laughs> Am, look, uh, uh, Jeff Bezos just went up to another billion dollars. <laughs> I think what it is, is uh, when you're an adult and you come out to your family, yeah. the first thing that mm. the grandparents think is, I'm not going to have no grandbabies. Right. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. That that be really the only thing they can probably mm-hmm. care less, less about, about you, right, about right. your lifestyle. This right. is about the grandbabies. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, but there are options out there. You just have to talk to your OBGYN, do your research, right. talk to mm-hmm. people who's done it before mm-hmm. to educate yourself. But you you can't add to your family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, she just she just increased B. She just increased <laughs> Amazon. And Jeff Bezos just went out to another thirty oh. forty billion dollars. <laughs> I need a piece of that. Hey, you need to give you a cut on that. You need okay. to give a cut on that. Right. Right. <laughs> she said Amazon, and I, all the ladies said, "Oh, I got a Prime account." They're looking for it. I'm putting it in my shopping, my shopping, shopping cart. cart. Right. <laughs> and it's so easy too. It's very simple process. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Two minutes. So many. Look, she said two minutes. <laughs> then she got, <laughs> she got these single ladies at home. <laughs> And they've only, only wanted children, you right. know, they want a yeah. child. Yeah. But yeah, let's talk to them about it because there's a stigma, like you said, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. The grandparents are thinking that, but also there's a stigma that you spoke about that when the, when you see both uh, a lesbian, when you see a lesbian couple and they're pregnant, mm-hmm. you always think backtrack, right? Right, backtrack. There was a man involved. She backtracked. She went and got pregnant by a man. That's not... Right. That's not true. Right. You know, we don't have to go to a man to get pregnant. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, there's doctors out there. You can do it yourself, like I said. Um, you know, when when there's a when it's a real true lesbian and she's really in this life, mm-hmm. you know, we're gonna go about it the medical way mm-hmm. to make it happen. Right. right. You know, doesn't matter how much it costs. That's right. right. Because we wanna be mothers and that's another thing that just because we're lesbians does not mean that we do not want to be a mother right just because clay is very masculine does not mean she does not want to be a mother right she's still a woman Mm -hmm. we still have that intuition to where we want to be mothers we want to raise children right you know and so we're going to make it happen Mm -hmm. so i'm glad i'm glad you cleared that part up too about about just being the parent being Mm -hmm. the mother Mm -hmm. of the children yeah you know that that's what's want what's what's needed a Mm -hmm. lot of times yeah and then the other thing i think we look at is that uh uh through your marriage having children that you think that all your children then are of the life Mm. and that's not true no, that's, that's, not, not, that's true not true at all. at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I've known so many of the life, their their children heterosexual and mm-hmm. go on with their own, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. you don't, that's not, they don't look at you and decide they wanted that life. They look right. at you at two moms. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's true. And that's how it happened with my daughters because our two oldest daughters are lesbians mm-hmm. and um, our friends and family automatically assumed that they right. came out this way because I'm that way. Mm-hmm. And that wasn't the case at all. My oldest daughter, who is 26 now, she was 12 when she told me that she was a lesbian. Mm-hmm. My other daughter that's 22 now, she came out, she was 16. Mm-hmm. And I mean, they've never had a boyfriend. They've never even thought about, you know, being with a guy at all. And they'll tell you today, this not because my mom is that way. This is just who I am. Right. Mm-hmm. And I already knew that this is the way that they were going to be before they even told me that right. this is how they were going to be. I'm the mom. Yeah. You know. And so, you know, they they have fiancés now. They're mm-hmm. grown. They have fiancés. They want to have children. Mm-hmm. Mom is going to help them have those babies because those are <laughs> going to be my grandbabies. I want some grandkids. <laughs> and you, they tell us that all the time. They was like, Mamas, we're going to have y'all some grandkids. Don't yeah. worry. We're going to have. But right. they're trying to get their careers and stuff together, you right. know, and before they do that. So, but I'm excited. I'm ready to be a grandmother. Are you? Yes. Too. I'm going to be a grandma. <laughs> A grandma. Yeah. A grandma. Isn't that right, B? A grandma. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be a granny. I want to be granny. Look, she want to be granny. She she granny. Be granny. <laughs> <laughs> B, what about you? Well, um, like I said, this is all new. I'm, I'm, I'm from the old school, so mm-hmm. um, if we didn't have, it's like, you know, you, you got to go through the, the regular process mm-hmm. to have a baby. Mm-hmm. You know, we didn't have all this when I, uh, when I was uh, thinking about having a kid, you know. Yeah. Now you can freeze your 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 eggs, you know. You can go <laughs> all through that, get all the stuff on Amazon, like like Miss uh, Clay said, you know. You can do all that stuff. Well, I didn't have all that, but yeah. but I am uh, uh, um, very supportive, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, like they say, you know, it's it's not like um, it was in my days, you know. Mm-hmm. And it was very difficult, you know. And then sometimes some people of uh, my caliber are masculine. They didn't think about having no kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so um, I uh, really respect 
you know, and, I, and, and it, it brings a uh, in light to me. So, okay, okay, you know, let me write a storyline on this, you know, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Because I didn't, I, I didn't know, you know, then now I know. So. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. About that, about that part, mm-hmm. right? That's good. That's yeah. good, yeah, especially about, about children. Part, yeah. yeah. A lot of yeah. people, you know, and even if you come into a marriage like you did, co-parenting, you know, in parenting, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Putting, you know, already having children. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's something. Um, ooh, it was it was a rough start at first, right? <laughs> it was a rough start at first because when you're coming into an already established family, yes. Um, there are certain things that they live by a certain way that they do things. So you're blending different personalities together right you were raised a certain way i, I was raised a different way mm-hmm. so it's all about communication um talking about everything when it comes to the children and getting on one page mm-hmm. um we may not think the same way in the beginning uh, we may have had different views on particular situations but at the end of the day we communicated mm-hmm. that's it um, and if we couldn't communicate effectively then we would go to counseling mm-hmm. and, and talk through those different things and mm-hmm. now I can say is is wonderful yeah. wow. as far as now our communication when it comes to our children. Yeah. Good, yeah. good, good. And we had to go to counselor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I just said some things happen. Like discipline mm. is another thing. Yeah, right. right. A discipline yeah. is is mm-hmm. very huge. Not only in uh, uh, LGBTQ community, mm-hmm. right? But heterosexual. Right. Yeah, just absolutely. understanding when you're blending a family, mm-hmm. you know, and that family that those children have been under mom, mm-hmm. you right. know, yeah. and then you've got another mom to come in. And just the thought process of how, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. many children will try the new mom. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> when, the, oh when, yeah. When mom is gone somewhere, mm-hmm. they're going to try new mom. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's the thing. No matter whether it's the LGBTQI right. plus community uh-huh. or the heterosexual world, right. a step parent is still a step parent. Yes. It don't matter how yeah. you yes. look at it. Yes. <laughs> and right. them kids That's are going to the, try you. They're going to try. And it's going to cause issues in your marriage. Uh-huh. It's going to cause a little bit of everything. Uh-huh. Right, right. You know, but as yeah. the parents, you have to find a way to work through that. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. I wanted B to come back. B, what would you like to leave with the viewers? I want you to say that. What would you like to leave with the viewers about women in the life ATL? Uh, I want to leave with them um, just 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 uh, watch us and and see where we're going and see where we're heading because mm-hmm. we're just not uh, going to be in Atlanta. We it's a franchise and then we're going to be all over uh, the United States and possibly the international and and just just basically you know, we designed the show to to to. Uh, Get away from all the stereotypes and uh, the lifestyle of successful women, and just just watch us, you know. And I also want to give a shout out to my 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 partner Donna for films. Uh, I don't want to leave her out. She's supposed to be here with us. Uh, so uh, again, uh, Women in Life TV, uh, we coming for you, and uh, just support us, you know. Sounds yeah, good. Thank you, Ms. thank you, Barbara, creator and executive producer of Women in Life ATL. I want to thank you all, Tiana and Clay, Molding the Clay, CEO podcast, Mm -hmm. and also stars of Women in the Life ATL. Thank you so much. Thank you. you Oh, it's exciting. (laughs) Thank you so much for coming, family. The Cam Hill Show, 1231.30 Central Standard Time. See you then. Bye. Bye.